you hi did you hi <laughs> welcome to the savvy Lou sound stream oh i forgot to tune my guitar before i switched over scenes i don't know uh, i had my hair taken care of by someone professional and i i don't know why i don't feel okay right now with it <laughs> it's like down i feel like it's eh, and then up i'm like more eh, I don't know. Um, hello, it's shiny and smooth and soft though. I should have just had him do it like not straight. I don't know. I thought straight would look cute. It looks shiny. It is shiny and soft. It's soft. It's soft and soft. <laughs> soft and shiny. How are you guys? Welcome. Welcome to the Savvy Lou Sound stream. The album release party. We're into the light. I. I have been high energy all day, and now I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you guys? How are you guys, Fox Buddha, Sista Creatives in the house? Oh, that reminds me, uh, exclamation point art, um, exclamation point art, check this out, okay. ah, ah. follow that link for cool information. I don't know where I'm pointing, this way, this way. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Anyway, that is an art event I'm in called I Know Who I Am. Um, art in Mind, I Know Who I Am. Something, 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 femme creatives. <laughs> I always forget the second half. Um, let me tune my guitar. Uh, he might be tuned. Rain might be okay from Thursday. It's only been a couple of days. Look at you. Look at you, you beautiful man. No, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, okay. There you go, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All I remember is femme something. Femme, 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 femme. Now, like, I'm a femme. Sometimes I wish I wasn't, but. <laughs> Anyway, I, I had no idea what to do today, um, except for be like, yay, it's out. <laughs> My mom forgets to. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to start. Maybe I could, maybe I can start with the magic, the magic secret project I've been working on for I don't know how long. It feels like a couple of days, but also it feels like five years. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, my dear friend at TechLink helped me helped me make this happen um, for for very affordable for me um, almost free <laughs> so uh, and it, it took a lot of like tech work that I could have never never ever done on my own but I don't even know who's here I'll announce it again later if if people if if you know more than just Joe and uh, people who already know about it. <laughs> Like you two already know about. But anyway, let's debut the Savvy Lou Creates official website. Oh, it's behind the chat. <laughs> I, I thought that was a good idea at first. I was wrong. There you go. So, I, I should just put it over my face with how I'm feeling right now. Um, There. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, you guys. Okay, so... Oh God, the I want to hide. Jean is high in gear right now, you guys. So anyway, um, I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding away in a hole. Here is my website, you guys. Let's navigate. Um, here you have like a little whatever normal menu. Um, and then you have the special like fancy menu here that is only visible on desktop. But anyway, um, if you go to SLS rights, short for Savvy Lou sounds rights. Um, <laughs> I use these tags cause like, uh, or I use these words cause like those are the, um, Instagram tags. I always do the hashtag things. Um, but here, uh, it talks about, you know, just news updates, whatever my blog, my original blog, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Um, and 
redo that whole website to just be the blog and just leave it there and uh or maybe it just depends on how easy it, it ends up being to like write blog posts here. Sorry, this thing is distracting me. Why are you falling off of me? Stop. It's too big. <laughs> I like ordered extra large because it looked like it looked like it would be too small if I got large. And it's falling off of me. Anyway, um, it's a new shirt, you guys. It's cute. Uh, <laughs> So here you can, like, my vlogs are, like, nestled in here, and then the podcast as well. Um, but yeah, I just ramble on about that. And then if you go here, it's got all the old blog posts, which I haven't decided what to do with this again. So I I might just, like, host it here and occasionally, like, update it, or I might just start, like you know, trash all these, leave the other one around if people want to go look at it whenever, um, see my past, and just, like, birth from, like, this moment forward, like, a new era of the blogging, because I already have, like, a very, very ancient blog, <laughs> uh, around too, so I'm like, if people want to find it, they can find it. I don't, I haven't decided. Anyway, it's under construction still, um, but, yeah. Anyway, I'm excited. Here is my favorite page. <laughs> the music. The music. So here's my little tagline from my little goofy little <laughs> business card that I made. Years ago, when I started Savvy Lou Sounds, I had no idea. I was like, uh, let me just write a little tagline. I don't know why, but um, it separates all three albums that I have so far. And then um, Into the Light, which is live now. But this isn't the official cover, but I just put that there because I look cute, I think. <laughs> anyway. Um, so then, you know, it talks about the music and then it has my bank camp. You can go there straight, straight to buy all my thingies right here. And then here's my Spotify. And then here, here's the magic. It's thinking hard, but it's because I'm incognito. But here you would see me right now. So if you ever want to lurk about and be here without me knowing that you're here and just watch, you can go to my website now <laughs> and just, you know, whatever. And then it has the YouTube channel. There's my latest video, um, which I'm so proud of that thumbnail for whatever reason. Um, SLS vids. Here's like the landing page. It explains everything. Uh, my YouTube videos, the podcast, and the vlogs, and then Twitch again. Um, and then I have individual pages for each each one. For the music videos, I talk about stuff. You can read it yourselves. Exclamation point web. That's the thing. Then the vlogs, and then uh, Monday Mingle. Let's talk about there. And what else do I have? Oh yeah, streams on Twitch. I think you can go there. And Oh no, I just... Oh no, no! Did I? Did I embed it? Yeah, I did. Okay, so you can always go there to, you know, spy on me or whatever. Be a stalker. Why Why not? Um, SLS picks, which this one I'm not super... I don't, I don't know why this is here. I don't... I, what is this? <laughs> I took that off. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It was gone before and it keeps reappearing. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is this is the little things that would trigger me when I was trying to make it, and then I would freak out and be like, "I'm trash human. I don't know what to do." Um, so last weekend was very stressful with the triggers. Um, but anyway, here I've got my art, a little, a few of my art things, um, a few like my photography, and then uh, promotional stuff. And then if you go to each individually, um, it has like an actual gallery and then talks about it. I'm going to update this as I go, but you can click and look. Oh, look how cute they are. <laughs> Cringe. Um, <laughs> there's one of my latest drawings, digital. And then you can go photography. And this one has like, this, this one. This one was so hard because I tried to update, like, upload stuff, and it was like, this is too big. 
And I was like, when you made too big, everything was too big. So then uh, Tech had to help me make them not as big. I need to fix this so you can actually click on them. I should be, I should take notes. Anyway, uh, then there's a special spot for the bunnies um, that you can see. I don't know if you guys can see this part. Yes, you can. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so there's, there's the Leela, the little princess, and then little man Sanson. Look at him. So cute. I think you can really look at his nose. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, this is the first time he ever flopped on my bed. And then he peed on it later. <laughs> He's so cute. His little head. Okay. Anyway, um, anytime I'm sad, I'm just going to look there. Uh, and then we have the promotional art. This this was really cool because, like, I, you know... Uh, it's loading, but yeah, so you can come here and actually see my Instagram without being on Instagram. So here's all me, you know, yabbering on about life and everything. <laughs> so uh, you can come here and then you can also see like thumbnails I've made or just, you know, silly little pictures I took to, to try to promote everything I do. I, I want to hide again. Um, and then... Um, <laughs> Here's, here's my merch. Um, I made a whatever joke because I have uh, shower curtains on the website. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I thought it was a good idea. Uh, I thought it was funny. Um, if you know who Richard is, you know who Richard is. There's a shower curtain of Richard and I really want to buy one of these for the new apartment. <laughs> P.S. I got a new apartment. Um, we're going to sign the paperwork tomorrow. Uh, and then here it talks about Bun supporters. Um, welcome to my new Bun supporters, uh, Sista Creatives. Thank you. Now we have two. We have Davey and we have Sista Creatives. We have two official monthly supporters. But um, yeah, it talks about everything and, you know, the shop and the commissions that you can do. And then my bio, which I rewrote, and uh, and that's everything so far. And today I was musing, I think I want to do like an events page. So for stuff like this, you know, I can talk about it. And hi, Stina. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Um, I missed so much because I was on a whole other screen. But anyway, there's a website. It's official. It's up. Um, so I want to do like an events thing and then like, uh, like a page, maybe a page to like, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared of triggering myself by doing this, but a page to support like, or showcase my friends that I want to support. Um, and just, uh, I'm doing this thing that, uh, Amaranthia does. <laughs> she does this when she's talking. It's cute. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? I should I should be on the other screen so I don't look at my face right now, but um, <laughs> I'm just gonna hide. don't look at me. <laughs> anyway, I I wanted to like showcase my friends and stuff. But I'm scared of doing that because I feel like every time I start doing stuff like that, I lose a friend. Um, but anyway, uh, such is life. I might just have to update the website all the time. Who, who knows? Who knows? And if you see someone disappear from there, you can be like, hey, what happened with so-and-so? And I'll be like, oh, that's a story. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What did I miss in chat? Welcome, Stina. Thank you, Joe, for shouting her out, uh, them out. Um, happy song release, friend. Oh, it's a, it's a whole album. It's a whole ass album, Stina. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, a couple of people suggested, because I was like, what do I do today? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well, well, the suggestion was just, you know, play through the songs from the album and, you know, go for it, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's 10 songs um for spotify and all those things 
But if you go to Bandcamp, um, if you go to Bandcamp, you can buy, I think it's 13 or 15. I should know this. <laughs> Wait, is my website still up? Did I close the window? No, I didn't. Okay, so let's, let's look. Let's look how many songs I have. Um, let's go Sabby Lou Music uh, and click on the band camp. Like, look, this, you could do this yourself. Um, you can click here and see the whole album. So the, oh God, that's hard to read. Uh, I will fix that, I promise. Um, mm, where are the bonus tracks? What the hell? I guess they're missing. I don't know. Um, oh, it's because I'm incognito. Ugh, God, I'm ridiculous. <laughs> um, what's wrong with me? Savvy uh, uh, Lou Sounds page. Sorry, I will. I will remember this. Uh, <laughs> There we go. 15. Yeah. So if you purchase the album through Bandcamp, you actually get 15 tracks. Um, 15 tracks instead of the 10. If you if you don't want to pay for anything, you get 10. Uh, but you get bonus tracks if you get the whole album itself. So yeah, there's that. And that's out of the way, I guess, for now. <laughs> I feel very weird. <laughs> oh god. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm 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 so far into where the hell am I that I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just, you know, um, I don't know. Let's just play some music. Let's just play some music. Um, ad starts in three minutes. Great, great. I took so long. Uh, let's do that. How are you all today? I hope you're doing well. I feel like I'm going to blow up. <laughs> this song is called I Hate You. Um, it's a love song. Should I? Uh, usually I don't go into it because like, I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. Exposing. I feel like I just exposed myself to someone too much. But anyway, the point is. Let's go ahead and explain the song since we're doing the whole album release thing and everything. So I wrote this song almost, almost two years ago now. Um, I, as usual, I'm demisexual, so I fall for friends, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> it feels too real. But anyway. I had realized that I was falling for a friend uh, in February 2022, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, let me just write a song about it. Um, so it's basically how, you know, I, I have attachment issues from all my trauma and everything. I have CPTSD, if anyone's new here, I have a uh, complex PTSD. And uh, a, a lot of that is uh, related to how I connect to other humans, but particularly if, if I kind of have romantic feelings for them, I kind of start really, really, really freaking out. Um, oddly enough, <laughs> I don't know, uh, it seemed different. It seems different every time it happens these days. So since I've started therapy, so I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I wrote the song basically saying, like, it would be easier to, like, hate the person because then I wouldn't have to have all this, like, uh, all this... <laughs> Where's the website? Put it over my face again. I just, I can't move it. What I, I can't. Pretend this is me. 
Little. <laughs> this right here. Oh, there, there I am. That's, that's me right there. Don't pretend that's me with my guitar right now. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> it would, it, it, the premise of the song is like, I wish I could hate the person so that I, <laughs> so that I could calm the fuck down, basically. Um, I've got five minutes to start this song now. Um, so that's, that's the premise of the song, because it feels so intense and so scary and so un just like dangerous to have these feelings for someone and there's various reasons for that that i don't want to get into right now but anyway now now i'm gonna hide my i'm gonna unhide my face so that you guys can watch me sing <laughs> baby <laughs> let me just turn off the camera this is why monday mingle is so much easier without a camera i don't Anyway, anyway, <sighs> breathe, just breathe. Nam myo harigekyo, nam myo harigekyo. Um, here's, here's a, here's I hate you. I wish a dream time will erase, blow off the steam. To hate would be easy, easier to taste The lighter weight on a broken soul To hate would be easy, easier to taste The lighter weight on a broken soul
do, 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 sorry. <laughs> the recorded version has a little bell at the end. And we're in ads. Or soon. Soon we will be in ads. Soon we will be in ads. Um, so yeah, that one's called I Hate You. <laughs> sorry. I'll just... Uh, I'm stuck in my head, I'm stuck in my head, and I don't want to be stuck in my head. And I want to be not stuck in my calm and presence, calm and presence, calm and presence, calm and presence. Um, I need water, you guys. I'm gonna drink water while you know you guys are in ad land. It, it, it says starting soon, and it won't start. It won't start. Hurry up and start, Mr. Ads. Ads, ads. Ads, 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 ads. There they go. There they are. There they are. Did I did I post on Instagram that I'm live? I don't know. Uh hold on, hold on, hold on. Aw. Yes, mom was okay. <laughs> I'm checking my Instagram. It's like, I knew Sister Creators was probably sending me messages. Um, different angle. <laughs> I don't have any different angles on the shirt right now. <laughs> um, I'll get one later a different angle <laughs> smiley face <laughs> um sorry did i what was i here for oh yeah i was gonna make sure yeah i did i did okay i did post about it that's good um <laughs> i've got a bot liking it that's funny um the, the story I posted about being live. Um, <laughs> some random bot. Some random bot liked my story about being live. Welcome. Welcome back from the ads, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back from the ads. Uh, the next song is called Bloom. And it's also called Sad Bunny Song. And if you guys don't know who Joe is, um... It's it's her favorite song, but Joe, more importantly. Well, if it well, isn't if the, best isn't the best, mod best mod ever, mod ever Joe, Joe. 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 Hey, Techlink, welcome. How are you? Welcome, 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 welcome. Sorry. It's, what? I just noticed something that I was confused looking Joe, at Stina I had Stina in the VIP. What the hell, Twitch? <laughs> Is Twitch like pulling off my VIPs? Hold on, let me fix that. <laughs> like, she's been VIP for years. Like, what the hell? Hold on. They, they've been, v I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. My brain's not working, you guys. Um, where do I go to do this? Rules manager, rules manager. Uh, yes. I was like, I, I was so confused. I was like, what? Don't I, don't I, shouldn't I be seeing what, like my, my muscle memory was like, shouldn't I be seeing a, a gold or a pink thingy? And, and it, you know, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't there. Anyway, there we go. There we go. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I forgot. Thank you for shouting him out. Is my shout out thing working? Did it work? I couldn't. I can't hear them. <laughs> did it? Did it work? Was it working? I don't know. At least it worked in the chat. Um. Uh. This next song is called Bloom. <laughs> it's also called Sad Bunny Song. My brain is mushy, mushy, mushy. You guys. I. I. Just... <laughs> I'm not all here. Uh, how can I explain this song uh, in less than 25 minutes? Because apparently last time I tried to explain a song, it took me 
30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, Bloom. I wrote this for my inner child. Um, basically promising her I would fight for her uh, no matter what and let her become the person that she was uh <laughs> well let's just try again let's try let's just make sure this is working because <laughs> i didn't see it on the landing page either there it is uh, i'm henry mcmoistash henry mcmoistash oh my god okay, it's working who is that yo oh hey who is that <laughs> hugo who is that Man, I Let's feel just like give all the shout outs. It's Why prom not? night and I'm lonely, low and behold. She's walking. I can pretend I can hear it. You know, just act like I can hear it. Save your game. Oh no. Shit. <laughs> I keep accidentally going through a portal. Um. Oh no. Ah, I'm pretending to hear it. Ah. Oh no. I remember fighting those a long uh, time ago. No. <laughs> Where was I last? I think I got the, the key. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I wish I could hear those. I don't know what is wrong with my audio setup, but I can't hear them. Um, for whatever reason. Uh, yeah. Was Did I explain the song? <laughs> it's called Bloom. <laughs> it's 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 i call it sad bunny song because also sad bunny who in and in, i hide inside i might as well just grab the bunny ears right now because of how i'm feeling anyway i made this persona called sad bunny for the stream uh for when i feel like i do right now where i just kind of want to hide and not be me because i'm so mean to myself in my head um and basically uh sad bunny's mission is to save inner child me um but oh shit i just messed up the whole story because that was the big reveal at the end oops <laughs> oh well uh only you guys know just pretend you didn't hear that uh <laughs> sad bunny's here to save me from lizzie my my lizard brain um Anyway, this is called Bloom, and I, I wrote it to myself. <laughs> How do I... I don't know where I'm on. I don't know where I'm on. I... <laughs> How does this go? How does this sound? What is wrong with you guys? I don't know. <laughs> I hear the melody... The guitar sounds weird to me. Let's just go. I will guard your heart Through the waves and time I won't let you drown Your tears will someday dry Find your light, I know it's there inside you. Don't sink and hide again, please shine
god. I'm not winking at y'all. Excavation point fart. <laughs> and I just lost it. <laughs> Let me just look for this eye. Well, bunny hair, get out my eye. I can't see. It's, I just, no, oh, it's still there. <laughs> Sad bunny song is coming with a vengeance, you guys. It's attacking me. <laughs> Stop. Stop, please. I can't find it because it's so thin. Where is it? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Is it gone? Is it gone? I think it's gone. I don't know. When did you subscribe? <laughs> like, what just happened? Why did the thing not work? <laughs> it's always funny. Um, I forgot to take my allergy meds. <laughs> Pettits and pet it. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just falling apart. It, it didn't go off. The thingy didn't go off. What is wrong with my thingies? Oh, is that? You said that when you... <laughs> What is wrong with my alerts? What? Anyway, <laughs> thank you for subscribing at 25% off. Should I just start over? Let me just start from that last chorus. How about that? Before a bunny hair attacks my eye again. Bunny hair. <laughs> it's just like, Techlink was telling me. Just don't fart on stream. And when the freaking bunny hair was in my eye, I was like, this would be a perfect time to distract from the eyeball. Just have it happen. Just have it. Just anything. Anything at all. Anyway, let me go back to that course. <laughs> I'm sorry I ruined Joe's song. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is why I never wear my hair down. Find your light. That's the wrong chord. No, no, that's the right one. I know it's there inside you. This world needs 
I just found the alert that I wanted to change the, the timer. I couldn't find it in my list. I was like, what did I call that one? So I was gonna change it to be say it, it's out or just, you know, delete it because I made another one. Anyway. This is what happens when you haphazardly plan your life because I was gonna do all this last night and then uh, I decided to take a shower instead. And then the shower took way too long. It's out now! <laughs> That's what we're celebrating! Anyway, I took way too long in the shower, and then uh, I had a meeting with my friends. Um, just, just to have a meeting with friends, and that was a lovely time. But I was like, oh, I can do it tomorrow. <laughs> like, I don't know myself. I don't. I, I know. I, the bunny hair is back. Can we stop? Can we stop? They get they get stuck in my hair, or they get stuck in my eyelashes, and then they wiggle around as I'm blinking, and then they start like wiggling into the eye, but they're so thin and fluffy that I can't find them. <laughs> I can't see them. <laughs> anyway, that song is called Bloom. Uh, let me fix that timer before I forget, because I I will be distracted buy it um for forever by the way you guys um because i'm looking at my vip thing uh tomorrow my friend stina they are doing a fundraiser for their their kitty their cat um to cover some vet bills that they just had so um please 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 if you're around 6 p.m eastern time go hang out and help either you know Either share about the stream or, you know, if you have the means, please, please, uh, Dave Scorsese, um, go ahead and, uh, <laughs> I just blinked out. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead and help them out. Um, what did I call it? What I call it? Oh, it's not coming soon. Okay, let's disable it because I have the other one that I made for it already. Right. Okay. I'm not all here, you guys. I'm not all here. Where's my little song list thing? Uh, this is my set list. <sighs> you can't see it, but it's here. <laughs> I'm not going to show it to you. So you don't know what's coming next. Except if you've seen the album, it's all in the order of the album. <laughs> Davey! Dude, I just, I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> I just did the burp. Welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, Davey, welcome. Uh, Davey is my other bun supporter. Uh, one of, one of two now, instead of one of one. Uh, so that's intense. I, as of yesterday, we have two bun supporters now. I made that little girl. Try to imagine what it would sound like. The green hair. I made her. I made her. How are you, Davy? I don't know if you caught me burping. Like, <laughs> call me Mr. Twister. I can fuck your sister. I don't like to blister. I fist Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some shit like um, that. I don't know. I'm discombobulated right now. I. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play uh, my friend's favorite song um, called Found. My friends from Sista Creatives. Um, this song actually is what got me into this. <laughs> so thanks to this song, I made some amazing friends who are helping me through some very dark times in my life <laughs> but um yeah uh this one's called found another song i wrote for for myself um which is rare <laughs> but uh it, it once i started therapy in 2020 uh august 2020 it's been three years and a month now wow anyway um 
I started to realize that my real self was somewhere locked away in this little shell and I like finally got a glimpse of her and I was like oh oh yeah that's why that's why I do what I do that's why I want to do what I do um but like I've 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 forever been ashamed of who I am uh because of my CPTSD um and when I started therapy and started dealing with all that um I felt like I could see myself reflected back to me finally at least a little glimmer of me the real me the me that i feel like i was meant to be so you know this fearless brave courageous woman who does music and saves the world that's that feels so weird to say out loud anyway um <laughs> it's called found um I just I just watched this anime series that really highlighted all of that in me. Uh so I feel very weird <laughs> I feel very weird about it. Saying it out loud, uh but watching that made me I was like, Oh <laughs> there's my life mission <laughs> painted out for me in a different context, but anyway, um This is called Found and uh yeah, let's just get into it before before another ad comes and attacks us. <laughs> let's see if I can play the guitar right now. Cause <laughs> I'll just go. So glad I found you. I was searching for so Happy or alright I don't want to lose you
found. Oddly enough, I feel almost normal after playing that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I appreciate that. My fingers are now black. <laughs> I have a bunny hair stuck on my lips now. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Where is it? It's... You can't see it because it's black lipstick. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> this one's called Hide and Seek. Um... Uh, should I snooze the ads or should I, should I just wait? Should I just wait? Um, let me snooze them. Let me snooze them. But let me see if I can explain this in less than five minutes and actually, you know, play the song. So this one, uh, <laughs> what was this? Yeah, this one is actually therapy homework. Uh, my therapist, um, she suggested that I muse on, like, a potential partner if I ever wanted one, uh, if, if, what I would want in a partner if I had one. Um, and this song came from that musing of sorts, and, uh, yeah, that's, it's called Hide and Seek. I forget why I called it that. Um, probably because I tend to hide who I am. <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like, uh, as someone who would be a good partner for me would, would seek me out, you know? I think that's why I call, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Would you be my light? If I were weak, would you help me fight? Don't get me wrong, no need for saviors, but I would love help to see.
Waralom, waralom, waralom. <laughs> oh God, this next song is another one like this. Um, this one's called "If I Could." Ah, it feels so exposed right now. Um, it's called If I Could. Are these all from the new album? Yes. So, uh, like, two friends suggested, I think you were one of them, <laughs> suggested, like, so I was like, what do I do? Uh, I just decided to play all the songs from the album that I can play. There are a few that are, like, instrumentals or stuff that I, like, recorded that I... Um, just recorded once and never, like, <laughs> I made with, with random things, so I can't play them. Uh, like, I Love You, which is a sister song to I Hate You, um, that's one that I can't, uh, I can't play. Uh, the, the album itself has 15 tracks, but five of them are bonus tracks for people who purchase the song, um, and uh, all my Bun supporters got the whole album for free. So, well, not for free, because you guys are supporting me on your choice. <laughs> anyway, on Spotify, it only has 10 of the tracks. Um, and then on Bandcamp, you can get all of them. And more of the proceeds go to me than if you were to go to iTunes or whatever. Don't tell iTunes I'm telling you not to go there and go to Bandcamp, but whatever. Don't tell Amazon either, <laughs> Twitch. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm playing all the songs from the new album that I that are playable. That are playable. Um, there's one instrumental song called uh, "Bunny Needs Food," which is like the first song I ever composed on stream. Um, yeah, it was a tough time. I I can. I couldn't make rent and I didn't have any money. And then my friend Steve and his community um, just got together and sent me funds uh, like a few nights after um, after I wrote that song. Anyway, it's a piece actually because it doesn't have lyrics. Uh, if I could, um, I <laughs> how much am I going to say about this song? <laughs> I wrote this song when I had a crush on a friend. Uh, who ended up saying it was a parasocial thing. And if you know, you know. If you know, you know. But anyway, I... Ugh. If you know who it is, you know who it is. Um, anyway, I, I wrote it uh, at the height of my feelings because uh, it seemed like... It was weird. It was a weird situation because he, he seemed like... I don't know anything about flirting or anything at all, but... <laughs> It sort of seemed like he was, uh, but I was like, maybe I'm reading it wrong. I don't know. Um, we're in, we're almost in ad land, so I might just wait till the ads are done for everyone to enjoy. My hair is tingled. What? What? Stop! 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 Anyway, uh, so yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Um. Yeah, I guess it was just like, it was almost like if I could say something, like maybe, maybe I would feel better and stop questioning everything. But um, yeah, that's why it's called If I Could. And I'm hungry all of a sudden. Um, I just, I had a snack before stream. I had my snack, my, my after dinner snack before stream. We're in Adlin, so I am going to talk about random stuff for the next minute and a half. Oh, uh, let's talk about the, the website again. Why not? Why not? Um, for anyone who is new, who came in new, uh, I think, I think only Davey did that <laughs> I wasn't here before. Who doesn't already, I mean, he already knows about it, I think. I think. But anyway, for anyone lurking out there, um, <laughs> I was using it to cover my face because I feel exposed today um, in general. Anyway, this is the one. 
this is my official website. Uh, thanks to my friend TechLink, who helped me with a whole bunch of technical stuff that I would have never been able to fathom. Uh, all I have to do is pay for a domain <laughs> uh, yearly, and then I built all this magical stuff. Um, so here's the landing page, and it has a little menu, and then uh, if you go to Savvy, SLS writes means Savvy Lou sounds SLS. I shorten it as SLS. Um, so here you can link to the old blog. I don't know if I'm gonna like keep the new blog here, or, or you know. I don't know, I haven't decided, <laughs> but you can go to a few of the old entries here. Um, I think I cut it off at 2018, I don't know. Uh, so the last five years or so of blogs are here. And then you can go to the music page. If you scroll down, you can lurk on me uh, while I'm live. This isn't going because I'm incognito, so otherwise it would have me logged in and you can see it. Um, but yeah, there's my YouTubes. Uh, my YouTube, my YouTube channel, <laughs> Spotify, Bandcamp, which here you can buy the whole album uh, with the bonus tracks. And then, you know, it has my first three albums listed there. My little trinity of coming out of into the world. <laughs> and then SLS Vids uh, tells you all about all my YouTube channels. And then the stream as well, again. And then each page, there's like little pages that go deeper in to, you know, <laughs> all of them and why I do what I do. And then if you go to SLS Picks, uh, I've got to fix this stupid little thing. I don't know why it's there, but <laughs> I kept deleting it. Anyway, um, yeah, that, yeah. So it, ex it shows like the different pages and then it, you go into each page, you can click on these. And look how cute uh, drawings I make, digital and traditional. And then if you go to photography, it's like, oh, look, photos I make. And I forgot to make this clickable. Or maybe it's still loading. I don't know, because they're huge. <laughs> I didn't know how huge my photos were, <laughs> apparently at all. Uh, and then there's a special page for the bun buns with their all their cuteness. Look at her look at her. This stares at me every night because I have the same picture on my nightstand <laughs> of my bunny that passed away. And um, and then the merch. You can look through my merch. There's a tasteless joke on the first. <laughs> uh, you can see everything and you can click there and like actually purchase stuff through because this is like the whole site's sunk into it. Um, eventually, when I have the time, I'm going to make individual like listings for everything. There's so much shit on there that it's it's too overwhelming for me right now. I put this together within a week uh, after TechLink helped me, you know, set up all the technical stuff. Because um, I was like, I didn't, even, I didn't even, I wasn't planning to do this. And then he suggested like that, you know, he could help me make a website. And then I was like, oh, let me do it before that for the album launch because I'm over I don't know I'm overzealous sometimes and there's my bio that I rewrote and it's more fitting to who I am now and hopefully you guys are back from the ads now are you back are you back <laughs> you are I think you are okay so there this is the big news this is the the secret project I had going on which I think everyone in the chat right now <laughs> already knew about it but anyone watching the VOD this is a big announcement, the big, you know, the hoopla, the the big, big, big thing. Um, I am so happy with what it looks like. Um, I never would have dreamed I'd have a website, like, officially without having to pay, like, 400 or $300 a year and then host it on some random uh, whatever, you know, Wix or WordPress or whatever, what's the other one? Squarespace, all of them. Um, and then big future plans is to like learn, a, what what is it called tech? You said, um, Hugo, Hugo? Yeah, so learn Hugo and then do it completely without a, a interface. Yeah, Hugo, yeah. So 
that's my big dream uh, for the next year, I guess, <laughs> to figure out when I can do that and make time for it on top of building a, a website for my client and stuff. And she's got all sorts of plans for her business. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta learn how to balance everything once I'm in my new apartment. I can't believe all these new things are happening in my life right now. I think I'm just overwhelmed in general with everything going on right now. <laughs> you know, it's like all these things. Anyway, let's play this song called If I Could. Um, if I Could. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm in my feelings. <laughs> called if I could. <laughs> it's probably the most... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't say what I'm about to say right now. Um, The word's not coming to my brain. It's just like... Yes. You got it. <laughs> it's the most lewd song I've ever written. Um... Cryptically, right? I don't know if it's it's coded. It's coded. It's very strongly coded. Um, 
This one is called Smiley Noodles, and this is how I was. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> was it really the wrong one? Uh, cause you got. <laughs> like, oops. Oops. <laughs> what is this emote again? <laughs> oops. Oops. Exclamation point donation link. Um. <laughs> Wait, coffee, coffee, someone put it in the chat. I can't type. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it was supposed to have some coded innuendos in there. Uh, and it was the only time I was ever brave enough to ever, 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 ever write something like that without feeling all sorts of trauma, trauma stuff. Um, this next call, next, next call, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> this next song is called Smiley Noodles. Um, I wrote this song um, <coughs> shortly after watching this one YouTuber. Uh, he does a lot of videos about uh, corporate, uh, corporate world and how you know, like, he, he, a lot of people are like corporate simps or whatever. <laughs> this is what, how he, how he words it and whatever. Um, but it's basically how, like, uh, people just uh, choose to be slaves to corporations um, as if they're not just going to drop you at the drop of a hat if something were to happen. Because, <clears throat> like, a lot of people will, like, almost have, like, an abusive relationship with some of their employers. Um, when it's a toxic employer, because they think, oh, if I work really, really hard, then I'll get rewarded. And then, yeah, anyway, um, that's like the main thing on his page, right? On his YouTube. But <clears throat> there was one time he opened up about his toxic family and stuff like that. And uh, he discussed how he had to go no contact with his family. So basically he doesn't talk to them anymore. And when he started the YouTube channel, um, he had them on the channel and everything. So it was really painful for him because like his whole life, he felt like he could, you know, create something and be like, look, I made this thing. Isn't it cool? And like, he felt like his family would celebrate with him. And then he realized, like, uh, he realized it's always, it, it was just this big illusion. Um, and him musing on that um, kind of unlocked, like, a way for me to describe, um, I think it's called grind reel, something like that. Um, but for me, it unlocked, like, a way to describe some. A, like a sensation or a phenomena I had like uh, my entire life um, because for me as a creator um, yeah I love his channel it's so cool um, but like as a creator every time I make something I get super excited I'm charged with the force of just creation you know and I'm like oh my god and I want to go share it with someone, anyone, you know, and when I was a kid, uh, I would try to share it with my family and mom was like working all the time. Uh, dad didn't care. And then my brother, uh, kind of just, you know, shoved it in a backpack, um, or ignored it. Uh, like I had this story that I was writing when I was 15 and, uh, I was all like, um, you know, like, my brother is super into reading and much better reader than I am, so uh, I f was hoping he could give me tips as someone who, you know, ingests a lot of fiction to improve my fiction, because I thought he cared about me, and I thought he was, like, my mentor, because he's my older brother, and uh, I knew how, like, absent tea my dad was growing up, um, and in my mind, my brother was, like, surrogate father, uh, cause he, like, in my mind, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, he's, like, he's been my dad, like, without having to be my dad, or, you know, like, 
my dad who's not my dad. <clears throat> so I thought he would uh, teach me things because when we were really little, he would teach me things. And he, he wanted to teach me like computer, but then my dad kept yelling at me about uh, <laughs> Uh, saying I would break it and bust it up or whatever because apparently I'm a hacker a DOS. Anyway, um, my brother was like you can't get into anything that would Hurt the computer. So I don't understand why he's saying that. But anyway, um It it, sh it, it changed uh, shortly after that era of me <laughs> of, of me trying to learn computer and then just giving up uh, it changed to, to my brother being completely indifferent about me. Um, so I still was in this mindset that, you know, he cared about me and he cared about what I made and created. So, uh, it was the start of this trend in my life. Uh, I would share stuff with friends in school too, cause I, I felt safe to do so. Um, which I feel like that's a natural thing for creators to like make something and then share it, you know? Um, um, like eventually, like I got programmed to, to realize that no one cares. And, uh, and then like when I watched, um, I forget what his name is, something with a J, but the guy from Grind Reel, the YouTuber I mentioned, um, when he was talking about his family and how he could no longer get something he was proud of and share it with them it was like oh that's the thing that's the way to word what i've always felt and he was talking like his example was like when you're a kid you get these little smiley noodle projects you know like you make a smiley face with the noodles and uh with macaroni or whatever and you're proud of it because you're a kid and that's you know within your means and you share it with your family and he was like i can't do that anymore and I was like, I was never able to do that. And I think I think what's hurt most about this album release, even though I'm finally I finally feel like like I don't have to shut down all those feelings of joy. Um, but like my mom who always rooted for me and always was there for me with all my creative endeavors, like she doesn't remember uh me anymore so anyway i wrote smiley noodles uh just to uh make a tangible example of what my brain grows through every single time i'm triggered about being myself and when i want to hide so that's what this song is about and sorry that was such a long explanation but it's one of for me it's one of the most important songs i've ever written I wrote it shortly after my album release last year when I felt like I fell apart after my last song. Like after my last al album release, I I really wanted to disappear because I felt like like I bullied everyone to try to be at the album release and this all the self promotion, which wasn't much. It was rushed because um, it, it was just it was Labor Day weekend when I just decided to finish the damn album that I've been working that I had been working on for like five years um, or four years. I forget how long it was, but half a decade almost. Uh, I had the time, I had the energy, I had the motivation, and I had the lack of self-hatred. <laughs> so I pushed through and made it. And one weekend, like I finished everything and then I pushed it out and all of a sudden it was like two days later, it was everywhere. And I was trying to like tell everyone about it. And it was like in the moment, like at the album release, I was like, oh, I'm, yay. <laughs> you know, I was all like, I did it. And then like a day after, I don't know how long after I crashed completely emotionally, I, I, I didn't want to be seen anywhere. Uh, and then ironically is when I, I ran into that video, uh, of his and, uh, then I wrote this song and it, since then it's given me like a name to my enemy sort of thing. Uh, cause like bef before I could talk about it out loud, it was like, it was there, but I couldn't explain it. 
It was like this unnamed mystery of, uh, of what holds me back. So anyway, this is Smiley Noodles. And um, it's one of the sad songs on this, on the album. One of the only super sad songs. Um, everything else is all like motivated by like lovey-dovey stuff, which is weird. But anyway, <laughs> it's called Smiley Noodles. Just shut up now. <clears throat> Dave Scorsese, hide away now. Don't want to make any splashes or waves. <laughs> Just shut up now. Look away now I know you're excited But no one will listen Just shut up now Crawl away You're dead, you're gone, you're dead, you're gone. Just shut up now. No one's here. No one will listen. No one will celebrate you No one will feel for you now Just hide away now Good night, good night, good night. Then you sink into the darkness. <laughs> oh, it's so weird because uh, I was just explaining this feeling to someone <laughs> right before the stream. Uh, it's, it's weird playing through that song with that in the forefront of my mind. Um, this next one is called Good Vibes. Um, it's actually one of the other sad songs on the album, but this is a bonus track. Uh, we're last to, there, we're last to the two songs. What? We're down to the last two songs <laughs> that I can play through, um, from the album. And yeah, uh, this one's called Good Vibes. I wrote it after my emotional support bunny, Dalila, passed away. She's, she's up there, right there, in a drawing that a friend made who doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> what was that? Oh. <laughs> what is that emote? <laughs> Oh, this looked funny. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I felt like a huge burden <laughs> sinking into the darkness. Yeah, I got it. It, it was just funny because I like I couldn't. The face looked cartoonish when it was tiny because I'm so far from my screen right now. Um, so I was like, I I pictured like little dot eyeballs. <laughs> I don't know, and I couldn't see it on the screen with the the emote wall. Um, so I was like, huh? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> anyway, I felt like a burden um, to everyone and everything when she passed away. So I, I was basically saying like, uh, I'll come hang out again when I'm not massively depressed. 
<laughs> That's what this song is about. Um, yeah, it's called Good Vibes. And it's been a while since I played this, just like the last song. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> That's the wrong chord. That's all. Is this? Or what it? Oh, all these are wrong. I'm on the wrong fret. That's... <laughs> Bunnies can't play guitar. Bunnies can't play guitar. I have... I have the tabs written out for me. I can't count, apparently. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to play this before the ads. It's just <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, how does this go? Oh my God, brain! Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. I'll come back around when I'm no longer a burden to you I'll come and say hi once my soul can stop bleeding It's okay I'm used to carrying weight I did that backwards it's so, it's so, wait, no I didn't, it's okay, I'm used to carrying weights, it's okay, I'm used to on my to check in I'll still keep on sending good vibes It's okay I'm used to carrying weights It's okay I'm used to on my Ignore the guitar! Please! You can probably barely hear it anyway, right? <laughs> no more floods, I hold back the deluge. They say my heart is pouring out to much love. What's the next? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm used to carrying weight. It's okay. I'm used to on my own. <laughs> I've been playing the wrong chords the whole time. <laughs> I'll come back. <laughs> Sorry. I'll come back around. I'll come and say hi. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, I know 
wonder it felt weird. Okay, so the third chord is supposed to be this. And I kept playing this. And I was like, huh? Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I didn't figure it out until like, till the bridge. <laughs> If you buy it on Bandcamp, you could hear the real version of that song. <laughs> we don't know if you mess up. Now you do. <laughs> I can't. Oh, God. Are we back from the ads? Welcome back from the ads. Now, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> I'll come back around when I'm no longer a burden to you I'll come and say hi once my soul can stop bleeding See, that's how it's supposed to go It's okay, I'm used to carrying weight It's okay, I'm used to on my own. It's my own fault because I could barely read my my ant handwriting. It's the size of ants <laughs> on this one. That's what happened. Like. I just saw two two notes on like the second and third string and uh or two you know whatever numbers and I was like oh e minor <laughs> and then I, was, I was like huh anyway <laughs> this was what it's called mountains um and there there are a lot of more there's like three more bonus tracks on on the album but i i think most of them are non-playable ones i can't remember what they all are right now off the top of my head because that's that's how my brain goes <laughs> right now um it's okay though right it's okay it's okay i am somewhat giddy uh Because for once, I'm stuck in my head, but it's not evil. <laughs> it's not as evil as it usually is. I'm looking at the bonus tracks. Okay, so uh, I can't see what I wrote. Oh, it's only three bonus tracks? And 12, 12 total. Um, so Good Vibes Mountains. I Need an Ice Bucket, which I wrote for my friend, Mr. Twister. Uh, yeah, those are the three bonus albums. Which, you know, some people got the whole album for free. <laughs> um, I should add the Bandcamp to that link. Anyway, I'll do that after stream or Monday or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just, I'll do it eventually. Um, yeah, this one's about chronic illness. Uh especially invisible illnesses because like you know when you deal with mental health stuff day to day and people don't realize because uh, they can't see it um, sometimes you'll get treated like you know it's all in your head kind of thing um, <laughs> this shirt is too big <laughs> um, yeah so that's why I wrote this um, just to kind of like remind myself that, you know, with everything I deal with, sometimes just, um, just getting up is, is, a uh, is enough. Um, you know, getting out of bed, letting myself wake up sometimes is enough. Um, and just to get, get those feelings out of my system of feeling like, you know, 
Feeling like, uh... What? <laughs> what am I feeling? What What am I feeling? Um... Words. Words. I'm feeling words. Words that happen to exist. Or the feelings. <laughs> um... Let me just play the song. <laughs> if, if, if it comes to me afterwards, you know, we can talk about it or whatever. Every day is another climb. Another time that I fight to breathe But what do I know about mountains? Life is easy as me But what do I know about mountains? Life is easy as me Every day is another mask to wear Another time that I fight to believe But what do I know about mountains? Life is easy as me Was I worth it? Am I worth it? Should I stand up? I'm just lazy Is it real? Can I trust it? Should I let go? I'm just a bitch But what do I know about mountains? Life is easy as me But what do I know about mountains? Life is easy as me Was I worth it? Am I worth it? Should I stand up? I'm just lazy Is it real? Can I trust it? Should I let go? I'm just a bitch It's called mountains and actually I realized there's one I skipped in the whole playlist <laughs> the whole set list I should say uh, ripple effect um, is also on here on this album um, it's basically about making a change in the world uh, bit by bit because you know you're you're only a person and you only have so much reach but that reach has weight and has power um so you know you might only change the life of one person today but that person could change the life of two other people and then those two people can change the life of like two people each and then it it's just exponentially grows so it's a ripple effect you know one drop water and like a still lake can make the whole thing just you know a big wave <laughs> so anyway that's what this one is about i wrote it in 2021 um i can't believe it's been that long bloom is also is also that old 
I'm very hungry, you guys. <laughs> Why am I hungry at 11 o'clock? I don't know. I, 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 I'll probably go get a bag of chips or something. Um, after, after, after stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, ripple effect. How, how does this one go? <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. Stay safe far away. Can't you see love? It's a ripple effect. One drop can save the world One drop can be I'll just give up now Can't you see love? <laughs> it's a ripple effect One drop can save the world One drop can be away. I don't make a difference. I'm just one girl. Can't you see love? It's a ripple effect. Save the world One drop can be goofy clip of me saying ribbit effect instead of ripple effect because of a typo from from the chat a typo from the chat 
I don't I don't know what to do now. I don't know if I should take a break and then just keep playing other things or just disappear into the darkness. Disappear into the darkness. Get a snack? Yeah, good idea. I should get a snack. What should I have? I have I have chips, I have cheese. <laughs> um I have hummus. I think that's a little bit too messy. Uh I have trail mix right there, but I don't want trail mix. Trail mix is like emergency snack. When I can't leave. <laughs> um what should I get? What should I get? I think I'll get, I think I'll get crackers and cheese. I think that'll that'll be nice and and uh, satisfying. Is that the word? Satiating? I don't know what word I'm looking for. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll be right back though. I'm I'm gonna put in a little fake ad for you guys about Art and Mind. It's a reel I made, but I made it into a, an ad. <laughs> a fake ad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sabby. I'm a multidisciplinary artist from United States, Florida. I'm featured in a visual art show, documentary event, and fundraiser called Art and Mind. I know who I am. Journeys of women of color and femme expressing creatives. This is developed by Black Disabled Mother-Daughter Duo Claire Jones and Amaranthia Sepia, the founders of Sista Creatives Rising, a grassroots project sponsored by Brain Arts Org and Dancing Queerly Boston. 100% of funds raised will go towards the Sista Uprising Fund, becoming grants for women of color and femme expressing creatives of color. See their documentary showcasing me and four other artists. View Claire's documentary about her journey through cancer, where she had a 50% chance of paralysis, and gain free resources and advice from black therapists and activist speakers. Get free tickets on giftbetter.com slash I know who I am, where you can also donate if you'd like. Check out my socials, Savvy Lou Sounds, and follow Sista Creatives Rising. Link in bio.